marketing and selling your coaching is super hard for many coaches because many of us have been there. We're trained to have this belief that our clients have all the answers to the problems that they have. And us as coaches, our role is simply to guide them to find their own solutions. Now, when it comes to marketing, one of the things you probably heard is that you have to come up with a solution that addresses the problem that your ideal clients have. And that is how you position your package. And that is how you make yourself to stand out from this crowded market. But this philosophy of your clients has the answer to everything. It's very empowering, but it also creates a dilemma when it comes to marketing. Now you're placed into a position where you cannot promise a solution to the client because your clients has the answer and solution to everything. So today we're going to talk about the five unique characteristics of what value-based content marketing is going to do for you in your coaching business. Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to simplify their marketing so that they can get seen, get heard, and get paying clients. If you are new to this channel, I would love for you to hit subscribe button so that you don't miss out of any of my future episodes on this channel. And if you're returning to this channel, welcome back. I would love for you to drop your comments and share your thoughts so that we can get a conversation going. Today, we're going to talk about the five unique characteristics of value content marketing that's going to do for you in your coaching business when it comes to marketing. Now, coaches have this dilemma where there's this belief that clients has the answer and solution to their own problem. And so there's that fundamental coaching principle where clients hold the answer to their problem. How can I, as a coach, promise anything as a solution for them? So it places you into a position where it's a constant battle and it goes against to what we believe in, our principle and the way that we were taught and trained. And so when we facilitate that process of coaching, we're just simply helping the client to uncover some of the hidden spots where they may not have seen before. And this way, when we help them to clarify and, and clear out that underlying belief that's stopping them from getting to what they want, they will have the ability to finding the solution that they want to the problem that they have. And this is contradictory to what a lot of the marketing strategies and things that you're learning out there so that you can position yourself and, and market your coaching business and sell more package and getting more clients. And I totally get it because I was in your shoes because when I first came out, I didn't know how to sell and I didn't know how to market my business. But what I did know was creating value. And I know creating value is something that's very vague to a lot of coaches what do you mean by creating value? And you hear this terminology all the time. In order to get paying clients, you need to provide value. But exactly what does value mean? And I bet that this is probably something that you're already doing in your business. You're probably posting on social media, you're probably writing blog, or you're creating video like this to help your client to create a belief and to change the perception of what they currently have so that they can start seeing the, the solution for themselves. So this is probably an activity that you are already doing, but you just didn't know that there's a purpose and it can be meaningful so that you can drive more traffic to your community, build more trust, create that credibility, and actually get paying clients from the activity that you are already doing. And so when it comes to value-based content marketing, there are five unique characteristics for value-based marketing. And the first one is you're emphasizing a client transformation. Now, if you're writing a blog and you're creating videos or social media posts, one of the criteria for value-based marketing is that you're creating and speaking to a journey of transformation. 
what had happened before and what's going to happen after when they experience coaching. The differences between the two is going to help someone to understand where they're at and what is possible for them without selling that, hey, I have the perfect solution for you and all you have to do is come and buy this. And so that alleviate the fact that you have to sell and doing the hard sell activity all together because you're simply creating an awareness of what is possible for you to experience after you experience coaching. So number one is to emphasize that client transformation every time you create that piece of content. So you definitely want to demonstrate the before and the after and how is it possible for someone to grow when it comes to experiencing that coaching or experiencing something that's challenging for them in their life. And that you can do it by showcasing your classic client testimonial, case study, or any success stories, you can demonstrate and illustrate the power of coaching. Characteristic number two is your being able to build trust through a transparency. Now, this is the part I love about content marketing because you can demonstrate and giving people choices when it comes to their own destiny, their own transformation. By creating content that will showcase them, the before and the after, you're creating an awareness of what their choice could be. Now, someone can choose to stay where they are and someone can choose to work on one specific tips or strategies that you're teaching them. And that you leave the decision of where your client wants to be entirely up to themselves. And so what you're essentially doing is you're creating this conscious buying decision in your potential clients and give them the power of how to choose for themselves. So they can come and consume a piece of your content. And what they're going to see is that here is the facts, the pros and the cons, and it is up to you to decide what your destiny and what your journey wants to be. So you're building in a lot of trust because you're providing information that is valuable and information that they might want to consider. And so you're not forcing someone to believe in what you want to believe or forcing someone to believe what they currently don't want to believe in. So you're providing a conscious choice for your potential client who is reading and consuming your piece of content, whether it's a social media post, a video or a blog, any type of content that you're putting out, you're you're giving people the ability to choose their own journey for themselves. Now, the third unique characteristic about value-based content marketing is that now you have the ability to infuse and align your own and as well as your client's values and goals into every piece of content that you create. One of the first lessons I teach inside the Profitable Coach Formula is the fact that every single one of us have a different set of values that is non-negotiable. It shows up no matter where we are and how we communicate with our potential clients. And in order to have this value-based content marketing to work, you definitely want to infuse your own values that would attract and bring your clients who also resonate with this set of unique values that you provide. And so one of the big questions that a lot of coaches ask is how do I attract the right clients into my world? And the answer to that is because we're looking for people who are like us and who resonate with us, who connect with us, whose value is also aligned with us. So the way that you attract is by demonstrating the value that you bring into your business, how you do things and how you do one thing is how you do everything, right? So you as a coach probably have a set of non-negotiable non values that you bring in your coaching business. And that in itself, it, it creates an attraction for those who also resonate. So I'll give you an example. My three non-negotiable values are authenticity, bravery, and connection. And those of my clients who connect with me and who resonated with every piece of my content, chances are there's one of the elements that they're also attracted to, whether it's authenticity, whether it's bravery or connection, People come together because we resonate with the value that we have and therefore it becomes a magnetic attractor that just automatically, naturally bring people closer to us. So if you're struggling and wondering, how do I attract my dream clients or the right client to me? Then here's a question I want you to think about. 
how are you showing up on social media? How are you showing up on every piece of content that you are creating? Is it authentic? Do you demonstrate the, the bravery? Do you build community together? Those are important to think about and to consider, especially when it comes to marketing. Again, how you show up doing one thing is how you show up doing everything. The fourth unique characteristic about value-based marketing is you're focusing on the quality and not the quantity. So a lot of coaches struggle because on social media, they have this idea of I need to show up every single day. I need to be able to post every single day. Now, when you're focusing on the quantity, then probably it's at a sacrifice of your quality quality. So, so value-based content marketing is about creating valuable quality content that would be helpful to your audience and it doesn't have to be frequent. So the way that I teach Inside Profitable Coach Formula, again, is to help you map out your content strategy so that you're focusing on creating quality content Perhaps it's a once a week and maybe it's a twice a week deal, but it is based on what you like, what you enjoy, and without sacrificing that overwhelming feeling of you need to be posting on social media every single day. Focusing on quality over quantity and not prioritizing the, the engagement with a conversation that you have, focusing on your audience, those are the things that's going to drive the traffic in your business that will allow you to expand and grow. The last characteristic about value-based content marketing is educational content is always the tool. So this is something that you're probably already doing if you're creating social media posts, if you're writing blog, you're creating video, there's a purpose behind these content and the, the purpose is to educate, to bring awareness, to demonstrate your expertise. But more importantly, it's about helping your ideal clients to unlock and to see something that they may not have seen before. And these educational content may include you doing a webinar or you're hosting a workshop or you're sending out an ebook. These are all educational content that you can provide and be helpful in someone's life that would help them to change a belief or experience a transformation big enough or noticeable enough that they will want to take their next step without being in someone else's face and say, hey, I have the perfect solution for you and this is why my program is better than anybody else and I have the perfect solution for your problem and you should come and sign up with me. By creating educational content such as webinar, videos, or blog posts, you're providing valuable information to your avatar, to your ideal client, and you allow them to create that awareness from day one to be able to make that conscious choice so that they can decide on their own journey for themselves, whether or not this is information that's valuable to them or whether or not they want to take the next step, you're leaving the decision into the hand of your prospect and to your ideal client. So educational content is definitely a must when it comes to value-based content marketing. So just quickly sum up, I know this idea of providing value and Offering the solution can be against what you were trained as a coach that our client has the answer to their problem. And so when it comes to marketing, I really don't have any perfect solution for anybody. And that is a fact. And that is probably the foundational principle that you have learned inside your coach training. But here are the five unique characteristics of what value-based content marketing can do for you. Number one is that it emphasizes your client's transformation. You're not telling someone that, hey, this is the perfect solution for you and this is why it works. You're simply demonstrating how it had worked for someone else through a client testimonial success story that you can share, or perhaps it's a case study that you can demonstrate and showcase how coaching actually works. So that's unique characteristic about value-based content, number one. Number two is that by creating this awareness and, and providing the value content, you actually show demonstrating a built-in trust and also a transparency. You're not telling anyone to say, hey, you know, my program is better than anybody else. You're simply providing an awareness that, hey, here are the pros and cons, and you get to choose and decide what you want to do 
with this information. So you're leaving the last decision making um, step in the hands of your potential client and allow them to decide for themselves whether or not this is something that they want to pursue and that they want to take the next step. So it allows you to build trust through that transparency of I'm simply here to show up and provide you with some information and what you do with that information is entirely up to you to make that conscious choice. And the third characteristic about value-based co content marketing is that you can align your values, which will allow you to attract the dream perfect clients that you've been looking for, you've been searching for, because they too resonated with the value that you show up and how you show up. And remember, how we show up doing one thing is how we show up doing everything. And number four is focusing on the quality versus quantity. While growing an audience, having huge followers, that's important. But what's more importantly is about creating a quality content that would help and serve you in the long run. One valuable and quality uh, piece of content can last for years and years and people can still come back to it and look you up on Google search engine. So remember to create quality content and not quantity content because quantity content can be very uh, short-lived and it might be one of those vanity metrics that it doesn't really drive the traffic for the long run. The last characteristic about value-based content marketing is you want to definitely leverage your educational content as a vehicle to help others to bring them awareness to help them to create that transformation and also to make that decision for themselves. So things like webinar, workshop, your ebook, those that addresses questions that your uh, potential client may have is going to provide a lot of educational uh, moments and opportunity for the people who's consuming that content. And when people do see the value of how you can uh, play a role in their life, they're more likely to jump into your program than not without you being in their face and selling to them. So I want you to remember that selling your coaching doesn't have to feel salesy. And when you focus by creating values through the content and every piece of content that you create, that you put out into the world, not only are you aligning your own values into these pieces that you're creating, you're also going to be a little more strategic when it comes to how do I demonstrate my coaching philosophy by creating these content that's going to help someone to unlock a belief or to address something maybe they didn't see it from a different perspective. So by infusing that and bringing that into every piece of content that you're creating, you're not selling and promoting at all. You're actually just simply being there by creating that awareness so that they can actually make a conscious choice for themselves. So your role is simply facilitate that process of creating that conscious choice for your ideal avatar, for your audience who's consuming that piece of content. And it's just so often that when people do see the value from the content that you're creating, they're more likely to trust you, they will like you, they follow you, and ultimately the end goal is they will book a call with you. And this way, you're selling without you actually selling them anything at all. Now, this may sound a little more complex and you might be wondering, okay, great, Michelle, I know that I need to provide content, I need to write, I need to um, put every piece that's out there and to be helpful to facilitate that conscious buying decision, but exactly how do I do that? I got great news for you. I'm opening up the enrollment to Profitable Coach Formula soon. This is where you can put your marketing on an autopilot, just like what I said earlier about creating content that will drive the traffic to build trust, authority, and ultimately getting you the paying clients so that your dream clients are actually sold before they even jump onto your discovery call. You're going to learn how to attract the right clients so that they can't wait to work with you. You're going to be able to articulate your one of the kind message so that you don't feel like you're lost in the crowd. And you're also going to be able to differentiate yourself as the go-to coach among all these uh, crowded market that we're experiencing right now in the coaching industry. 
registry. So in order to sign up and to be notified when I open the enrollment, you're going to have to go to ProfitableCoachFormula.com and join our waiting list. My enrollment is opening up soon and you'll find the link down in the description box below. And again, if you found this video helpful, I would love for you to share your thoughts, drop your comment down below, start a conversation about what has been the biggest struggle when it comes to marketing and providing the valuable content to your audience. Love to hear your thoughts, drop into the comment, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.